Hello, I am Jonas from bhgelwiz.com. Welcome to this course that will help you better understand what kind of logic your VHGL code produces. A key difference between a skilled FPJ engineer and someone with less experience is that the beginner is more likely to think in terms of code and algorithms, while the senior engineer has his mind set on what kind of hardware the VHGL code describes. So this is a very common design pattern in VHDL in processes. When we want to implement an algorithm like this, we use a variable, we take the value from the signal that we want to manipulate and then use the variable in here and then write back the value from the variable to the signal at the end of the process. So this is something that can be implemented and just by changing the range of the input IMAX signal, we were able to create this circuit. And you see the complexity of the design, the length of the combinational path here depends on the range of this IMAX input signal. And this is the MUX 12 module. If we switch between the two schematics, we can see that they are exactly the same. So Vivado was able to optimize the two modules and figure out that the logic was actually the same but we saw that in the elaborated design this looked differently from the version using case when and this is something to be aware of when creating vhdl designs that it may look different in elaboration but still synthesize into the same logic in the end The next thing I want to explore is what happens when we add some output values from the state machine. Because usually when you create a state machine, it is to control something or communicate with something outside of the state machine. And therefore you have to have some kind of output signal from the state machine. And I want to see how that looks in the elaborated design. Therefore, I have prepared two new VHDL examples. When the state changes, this multiplexer reacts instantly and changes the output. So that just like in the previous module, we get a longer combinational path on the output and this may be good or bad depending on what comes after the final state machine. But we don't get output flip-flops like we did in the fully synchronous design with a single clocked process controlling everything.